Hello everyone, I'm Bing, and today I'm going to present the paper Inverting Neural Radiance Fields for Post Estimation, or INERF, published in December 2020. The problem the paper would like to address is the post estimation problem. Given the image, we try to find the translation and the orientation of a camera relative to a 3D model. As shown in these figures, the trajectory of the estimate poses are shown in the gray square pyramid, while the ground truth poses are shown in the green one. With the training proceeding, the overlaid render image and the observed image will coincide. The author applied the analysis by synthesis methods for the six degree of freedom post estimation problem. The post-estimation is significant due to the incomplete post-labels. The post-labels might be unrecorded or inaccurate due to lack of calibration. For example, the images captured by the cell phones or the self-driving cars. It has its applications in augmented reality or robot manipulation. The author tried to train a model that can perform post-estimation in the cheap and scalable ways from just RGB images. There has been a lot of work done in neural 3D shape representations. They can represent the 3D volumes at high resolutions with only low memory usage. There has been 3D shape supervision methods or 2D view supervision problem methods when only when the ground truth 3D shapes are difficult to get. There also has been some related work in the post estimation for from RGB images. When the ground truth 3D shapes are available, the key point detecting and matching methods, CNN or differentiable mesh renderers can be used to estimate the pose from the ground truth 3D models and the projections. However, when the ground truth 3D shapes are not available, some other methods can be used to estimate the pose from only 2D views. They estimated the images, the poses from the images with post labels. The contributions of the paper include, firstly, the INERF can estimate a 6 degree of freedom pose for things and objects with complex geometry, with only RGB images and NERF model as input, without the 3D shapes or the depth sensing information. The author tested the models on three different datasets and also proposed a feature-based initialization methods. Secondly, the INERF can improve the nerve by predicting the camera poses of additional images. Finally, a thorough investigation of ray sampling and the batch sizes is provided. The NERF models, by sampling the 5D coordinates, the positional encoded inputs is fed into the MLP which predicts the volumetric density and the view-dependent colors. And the traditional volume render methods is, uh, is used to generate the render image and compare with the ground truth to update the weights in the MLP. The NERF is trying to, ask to render the image from the ground truth poses and the ground truth images. However, the INERF tries to estimate the pose from the images. With only an initial estimation of the pose and the ground truth images, the pixels are sampled and fed into and the positions are fed into the already trained NERF models then the rendered images are compared with the observed images. The loss is backpropagated to, to update the estimation of the pose instead of 
the weights in the nerve model. So the problem is trying to estimate the 6 degree of freedom camera pose given and observed images, a trained nerve models, and initial estimation of the pose. However, since the loss function is non-convex and computationally expensive, so there has been some methods that are proposed to handle this problem. The first is the gradient-based optimization. The five coordinates are encoded into the six degree of freedom pose. The camera pose is parameterized with the exponential coordinates and the gradient-based optimization is performed in the exponential coordinates. Secondly, different sampling methods are performed. Since sampling the whole pixels is computationally expensive for each iteration, the author, the author used different sampling strategies. The blue X in this figure represents the pixel on the background, while the red plus represents the pixel covered by both the rendered and observed images. And the green circles represents the pixel covered by one, only one of them. The first method, the random sampling method, is ineffective since it's sampling a lot on the flat and textureless regions. Well, the second method uses the interest point detectors to sample on the observed image. Since sampling on the render image is computational intensive, so the interest point sampling method is prone to local minimum. The author proposed the interest region sampling method, which performs many iterations of 5x5 five five morphological dilations on the interest point. Therefore, the sampling point could fall on the background or covered by both images or covered by only one of them. Finally, the author, author performs self supervision within the nerve with the nerve with eye nerve. The data sets contain images with post labels or without. The image with post labels are used to train an initial nerve model and then it is fed into the eye nerve to estimate the pose of the images without the post labels. They together train a new nerve models with improved performance. The eye nerve model was tested on three different datasets. On the nerve synthetic datasets, the interest region samplings can not only align the via of the microphone, but also the chair's back, while the random samplings methods cannot. With random post initializations, the interest region samplings performs better than the random sampling, and their performance also improved with the increase of the batch size. The second result was tested on LFF datasets. While the NERF models is trained respectively on 100%, 50%, and 25% of datasets as a comparison. Then the rest of the datasets is trained with iNERF and the post labels is estimated with the iNERF. They all together train the new iNERF models. Although the results obtained by the model trained with the estimate poses are not as good as the model trained with 100% labels. However, they could improve the performance of the nerve with only 25% of label datasets. As you can see, the performance of the eye nerve depends on the batch size. Finally, 
the model is tested on the Lyman datasets, while only synthetic post images are used. Firstly, a feature-based initialization is performed, while it would fill for objects without extinctive textures, for example, the ape, cat, and the dog. However, the iNerf can improve the performance of the post estimation on these different things, and the results is evaluated with the ADDS matrix. matrix. As shown in this chart, the initialization methods proposed by this paper outperforms other methods, and the INERF models can further improve the performance of several different things. To conclude, the INERF can perform accurate post estimation using gradient based optimization, and it can be also used to improve nerve reconstruction quality by allowing images without the known post labels to be used when training the nerve. However, there, are some, there has been some limitations. Firstly, the eye nerve is severely affected by the lighting and occlusion problem. For example, in the Lyman datasets, the performance of the initialization is pretty good. However, the nerve can eye nerve can slightly hurt the performance of the most of the initialization, and the author proposed to use the transient latent code to solve this problem. Secondly, the method is still supervised by ground truth post labels. Well, the ground truth po accurate ground truth post labels are not available most of the time. Finally, it takes 30 seconds for Android optimization steps, which prevent it from real-time applications. And the training time is not so long, but the author did not give, a, give the results by further increasing the batch size to see how accurate the post estimation could reach. Finally, I will recap the contributions. The INERF can estimate the 6 degree of freedom post for things and objects with complex geometry with only RGB images and NERF model. And then it be, can be used to improve the nerve by predicting the camera pose of the additional images without the post labels. Finally, a thorough investigation of ray sampling and batch sizes is, is provided. And thank you. Thank you all. That's my presentation.